Hey, I'm Nathan Tabor with Handling Life. Thank you so much for taking the time to tune in. What I want to talk with you about today is being an example. You know, that's something that when somebody looks at you or looks at me, what do they see? And as I've gotten older in life, and as I've really started to pay attention to who I am and kind of the or or the impression that I give off, I've started paying attention to that. But I want you to know for a number of years, and it's kind of embarrassing to admit, and I really don't even want to talk about it, but I need to so you'll know where I'm coming from. For a number of years, I was one of those people that when you looked at, you know, kind of that person over there says, oh, he says he's a Christian, you know, meaning he says he's a Christian, but his actions don't line up. And that was me. You know, it wasn't that I was out drinking or, you know, cheating on my wife or, uh, you know, doing things that you would say, oh, that's definitely, you know, that, that fruit on that tree doesn't match up. It was more attitude. It was more uh, temperament. It was more personality. It was, um, you know, being short with people. It was being aggressive, not having compassion or not forgiving or, you know, just kind of, um, again, you know, just living, being a human. Um, the way that, you know, the world looks at and says, you know, if you want to be successful or you want to thrive at your job or you want to make sure you're heard, make sure your voice is heard, you kind of have to be boisterous. You kind of have to be aggressive and be forward. Well, you can do all those things and still be a Christian, right? Because even Jesus, he drove the people out of the, the temple. You know, he picked up a whip and went in there, but he did it in the right personality. He did it in the correct temperament. He did something that was looked at as, hey, this, this is, needs to be stopped, and he stopped it. So I'm not saying that you have to, to you know, just completely pull back and be this little sheepish you know, person who you know, never confronts anybody, never gets involved. And I'm not saying that. I'm saying that when we do do something, we need to be that example. You know, Timothy says, be thou an example. And what I want to challenge you on and what I want to encourage you on is when someone looks at you, when someone sees your actions and hears your words and looks at your life, whether it be social media, whether it be in person or however they're interacting with you on a personal level or a business level, what type of example are you? Are you leading people closer to God? Are you leading them to Christ? Are you leading them to the cross? Or are you, you know, leading them away? Are you taking them away from it? Are you giving them an excuse or a reason to say, well, you know, why would I want to be a Christian if that is the example? They're always miserable. They're always upset. They're always depressed. They're always, you know, wanting to argue about things. Is that the example? Or is the example of joy and contentment and balance? Yeah, you can have, you're, gonna, you're human. I'm human. I still have some of those things. I still struggle with some of those things. But I've recognized it now. And so that's the ultimate challenge is just recognize that. Recognize that through our relationship with Christ, we can be an example. We can show others what it's like to be a Christian whose life is full of joy and contentment and balance and that we have a desire to serve God but we're also you know able to be friends and we're able to grow our businesses and we're able to participate in things and we're able to take a stand for things but we do it in a way that leads people to the cross and that's where I made mistakes in my life and we're still at times I still make those mistakes but I'm working on it I want to be an example. I want to show people what it's like, and I want to encourage you to do the same. Be an example. Let your actions, let others see Christ in you, and that will plant that seed. And when the seed is planted, then the Holy Spirit can work in that person's life.
I hope this has been encouraging to you. I hope you'll take it to heart. I hope you'll be an example to others. And if you want to learn more about this ministry, you can visit handlinglife.org. And if you have time, I'd love for you to leave a five-star review and uh, share some words and some uh, recommendations to others um, on the various platforms, whether it be Apple or Google Play. I'd you know, be very honored and privileged if you would leave a review on that various platform. And again, if you want to learn more about this ministry, you can visit handlinglife.org.